the death accounts of Cynthia lied just three days before the Toronto election, it dramatically changed the Ward 23 race. Jamal Myers, who registered to run on the first day possible, has been elected to represent the Ward of Scarborough North. I spoke with him today to talk about his plans moving forward into the coming four-year term. Back when I started the campaign, it was just me, my bike, my helmet, and my lit in my backpack, knocking on people's doors, introducing myself one door at a time. This community deeply personal to Myers, growing up nearby and visiting Malvern Mall with his cousins. He eventually became a lawyer with TD Bank and a capital markets attorney on Wall Street, but after more than seven years away, had a desire to come home. I think that's something so special about our community that, you know, it took me leaving the community and coming back to realize. Myers turned to community organizing, advocating for better transit, becoming vice chair of the Taibu Community Health Centre. On the back of that advocacy, working since May to win hearts and minds in the ward. He wasn't considered a front runner until the news about Lai. The city deemed advance votes for her ineligible. On Monday, Myers garnered more than half of all votes counted. I have a huge responsibility to make sure that her supporters, many of them were, you know, disenfranchised, their votes didn't count, uh, making sure that they feel that I'm their counselor as well. He said while some in the community didn't agree with her, and some likely won't agree with him, Lai was respected. He wants to go door to door to meet with Lai supporters. With many East Asian residents making up the ward's population, he says he wants to make sure his office's services are accessible to them. I found her to be a very decent, uh, honest and uh, straightforward person. Um, so we work together quite nicely and she has a lot of the issues of the community in her mind. Dr. Joseph Wong publicly backed Lai and said many appreciated her efforts to advocate for seniors and combat anti-Asian racism. But he said he expects Myers will have support. I believe that uh, he has good reason to be confident. He has good reason to be comfortable because he is among friends who would like to work together with him. Velma Morgan at Operation Blackfell Canada celebrating Myers' win, noting there will now be four black councillors at City Hall, up from one and an overdue reflection of Toronto's diversity. We're going to have four very distinct voice um, representing us at the community. They're going to bring their lived experience uh, to the City Council. They're going to bring their lived experiences uh, to policies that are going to come out of, the, out of council. But it tells our young people that, you know what, we can lead. Meyer says he wants to get to work. On his list of projects, fighting a proposal to replace Malvern Mall with just condos, increasing affordable housing, and improving transit accessibility. I want people to judge me for my results, to say, did this guy actually do what he said he was going to do? Or at least make a very, very good effort. Uh, I'm not thinking I'm going to like change everything overnight but I'm going to work hard and I'm going to make sure I have the right team around me to help execute that plan. In Scarborough, Nick Westall, City News.